Okay, year six. Uh, next Tuesday is going to be your UC, so I just want to make sure that nobody's making these common mistakes. Okay, so today we're just going to go over some of these questions that are in your uh, booklets. Okay, booklet six. So first question, this is number C. I have 52 plus uh, negative 27. Now if you re remember in your textbook, this is basically same as 52 minus 27. Okay? 52 minus 27. So now, then it goes back to your primary math. 52 minus 27. 52 minus 27. What would I get? Uh, borrow. That would be 12. 12 minus 7, that would be 5. And then that would be 4. 4 minus 2, 25. If I want to check, okay, um, 25. If I have 25 plus 27, would I get 52? Yep, seems like it. Alright, so that would be my answer. And then, now this one you also really don't have any problem. It is the minus a negative. Minus a negative. Most of you know already right away, if you see two negatives side by side, next to a bracket, some of you draw it like this, okay, make it into a plus, right? And then some of you will, for my class, sleepy eyes, I'm going to turn into a clown eyes, okay? So now, I have a negative 8.8 .8 plus a positive 7.6, and I need to know the difference, okay? Since the signs are different, then I need to subtract them. All right, which equals to, well, 8.8, .8, take away 7.6, that becomes 1.2. Well, positive or negative? How do I know? Well, for me, I say negative number is larger than the positive number, therefore, there, the remaining will be negative 1.2, because there are more negative numbers in this case, alright? So your answer is going to be negative, alright? Now again, this works with plus and minuses. Now there is, there are a couple of uh, problems that you guys keep making mistake on or have a misunderstanding with, is the subtract a positive, subtract a positive, okay? Now again, in your book, it says you can swap these signs out, okay? You can flip-flop them. That means you have positive 11 plus a negative 14, okay? And make sure you bracket it up because there's two signs next to each other. All right, now I can, I can see it more clear. I have a positive number and I have a negative number and they're supposed to join together, but once positive, once negative, I need to know the difference, okay? In this case, there are more negatives over here. So when they subtract, the negative will win will have remaining. So then, 14 take away 11, I would have 3. So that would be a negative 3 as my answer. Okay? Now lastly, I have negative 12 minus a positive 42. Again, I could swap these two signs. Okay? That becomes negative 12 plus a negative 42. Okay? When I swap these two signs, I would have plus a negative 2. Now they are both negatives. Now remember I used my legend of the two rings. They're both negative and they add it to each other. So that means they're going to become more negative. So what's the total negativity? That would be negative 42 minus plus 12. That would be 54. And it will become negative. So if you're looking at the number line, that means basically negative 12, and it keeps going to the negative side, 42 units. So you're going to add it up together, that becomes negative 54, okay? All right, so make sure the key to this is you can swap out these two signs, okay? S switch them. So now it becomes plus negative. Subtracting a positive is the same thing as plus a negative, okay? All right. Couple of more mistakes that you guys are making. Well, 
if I look at this question, I have negative 8 minus a negative 2.4. Now immediately you might think, oh yeah, I should do this first. But remember bond mass? Bond mass says we need to do division first, okay? Now, but some of you did this. You change this to a positive, then you divide, which is a no-no, okay? So if you're going to do that, first of all, I am doing the division first. Okay, division first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line here. Negative 2.4 divided by 4. Okay, so negative 2.4 divided by 4. Okay. What, what do I do next? Well, simple column form. 0, 0, move over. Here's my decimal. 4 times... 6, 24, 0 remainder, okay? So these two number become 0 0.6. Well, positive or negative? Since there's a negative, negative divided by positive, that would be a negative, okay? Now, I bring this down. So my second step is equal to negative 8 minus a bracket 0 0.6. Okay? Alright, so now I could erase this line or I could just bring this up. Alright, so the line was there so that this subtraction doesn't get involved with the division. Alright, so now negative 8 is going to subtract a negative. Again, I see two ne subtracting a negative, two sleepy eyes. I'm going to change it to a clown eye. Okay? So now I have negative 8 plus 0 0.6. Alright, so now I have 1 is positive, 1 is a negative. Okay? Now, if there's no positive, if you want, you can add a positive here. Okay? So now, again, the signs are different, then I need to know the difference of the two. And in this case, there are more negatives over here. Your answer is going to be negative. All right. So when in doubt, put down your sign first. That's half the, the, the uh, answer already. So now I need to subtract, which is 8 minus 0 0.6. So I'm going to borrow, becomes 7, this becomes 10. So 4, and then 7.4, okay? So negative 7.4, that's my answer.